Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Trine. If you are new here, as you guys know by the title, we are meal prepping today. I have some super quick and easy meals for you guys this week. We are gonna be meal prepping snacks, lunch, and dinner today. I don't meal prep my breakfast just because I like to have my breakfast fresh. Most of the time I'm eating eggs or like waffles and those things just don't reheat well. This week for snacks, I'm gonna do tuna and guacamole. And then for lunch, we're gonna do a kielbasa sausage, potatoes, and green beans. And then for dinner, we're gonna do a shaved steak, rice, and broccoli bowl. If you have started meal prepping i highly recommend it whether you're on a weight gain weight loss or you are just trying to save yourself time during the week i'm currently on my weight gain journey so meal prepping is something that i wanted to incorporate into my weekly routine just because it sets me up for success every single week meal prepping consistently has saved me so much money during the week because i'm not eating out as much there's no questions of what i'm going to eat every day because everything's already made for me i know that i'm going to hit my protein goal every single day because everything is already measured and weighed out for me so it sets me up for success every single week so if you have not gone on the meal prepping train definitely get on it and hopefully you'll get some meal ideas from this video but let's go ahead and hop into it starting with our lunch meal it's going to be one of those meals that you just throw in a crock pot and walk away so for this recipe you're going to need olive oil either minced onion or onion powder i just like to use onion powder because it's just easier and it tastes the same to me cajun seasoning and chicken broth and for our main ingredients we need kielbasa sausage you can use any type of sausage that you would like we just use turkey any type of potatoes and canned green beans i like to prep everything first before i start cooking i'm gonna start with the sausage i like to cut mine into thin slices and then cut them in half again i found that with this recipe that makes the perfect amount of sausage for us we used to buy two packs of sausage but i noticed it was always too meat heavy so if you want your meal to be more meat heavy definitely get two packs of the kielbasa sausage but if you want it to be more of a good balance with the potatoes and the green beans try doing one and then slicing them in tiny pieces And for the potatoes, I cut them into about a cube size, but same thing for the meat. If you want it to be more potato heavy, add more potatoes. If you want it to be less, add less potatoes. For this one, I used about eight potatoes. How many times can I say potatoes in one sentence? Once you have all your ingredients prepped, we can go ahead and start on actually cooking them. So I use the Ninja Foodi for this, but you can use any pressure cooker or instant pot. If your pressure cooker has this option, you're gonna turn it to the sear and saute and let it heat up for a little bit. But if you don't have an Insta Pot or a pressure cooker, you can also fry the meat on the stove as well. We're gonna add some olive oil to help the sausage not stick to the bottom and then go ahead and season your sausage with onion and let it cook for about two to three minutes. Once the sausage is all done, you're gonna go ahead and turn off the Ninja Foodi and add in your chicken broth. After that, you're gonna add in the rest of your ingredients, your potatoes, your green beans, and your Cajun seasoning. For the green beans, the recipe does not call for you to drain them, but I like to drain them because I don't like all that excess water. If you want your meal to be more soupy, I recommend adding in more chicken broth because the chicken broth is gonna give you more of that flavor. Once you have all your ingredients in here, you are all set. I switch over to the pressure cooker setting and cook it for two minutes. Now, I'm not kitchen savvy with like kitchen appliances, so don't quote me on it but it definitely takes more than two minutes i feel like it's more 10 minutes but the instructions say put it on two minutes so that's what we're gonna do all right while that's going we're gonna get started on dinner this is probably the easiest meal that you will ever make this recipe is actually one that i found on tiktok and i will make sure it's linked down below so for the meat you're gonna use the same type of meat that you would for a philly cheesesteak uh, mine was called shaved steak at the store but you want something that's similar we're also gonna use uncle ben's 90 second rice because it cuts down so much time and of course frozen broccoli for the steak i kept the seasoning pretty simple because we're gonna use this sauce that's gonna really tie everything together and be the main character for this meal so I just did salt, pepper, garlic powder, and onion powder. Those are pretty much staples for me for all of my meals. Thank you. 
went ahead and got started on the last step for dinner, which is just throwing the rice in the microwave. You literally just crush it up to make sure there's no more big chunks. And then you throw it in the microwave for 90 seconds. It's so easy and it tastes so much better than when I make rice in my rice cooker. Around the same time, everything else is finishing up. Our lunch was also done and it looked so freaking good. And so now we're going to start prepping everything into their separate meal prep containers. Since I am on my weight gain journey, I am only focusing on protein right now. So I do have to measure everything, but I'm really just focusing on the protein. For lunch, each bowl has about 8 grams of protein. That one is kind of an estimate because I have to try and match this recipe with something on my fitness pal. But it's easier to track things like dinner because it's all kind of separate and I can weigh them all out separately. So meals like this are my favorite because it's just better for tracking. But in total, dinner came out to about 30 grams of protein total. <music> Now for the star of the show, this sauce. This Japanese barbecue sauce is what brings this entire meal together. It is so good. I found it at Costco, Target, and Fries or Kroger, if that's what it's called in your area. I literally drown this entire meal in this sauce and it is so good. I can never get tired of it. All right, moving on to the last step in our meal prep. It is our snacks. We're going to have some guac. Guac is definitely a staple in this household. And it's such a good grab and go snack. I keep mine pretty basic. I just do onions, tomatoes, and lime. And I'm now realizing that I forgot to add cilantro. So don't forget to add cilantro. It's definitely missing that. We were taste testing it to make sure it tastes right. There was something that was missing, but neither of us could figure out what was missing. And it was definitely the cilantro. If you're like me and your eyes burn whenever you are chopping onions, you need this chopper. It is a lifesaver. Onions make my eyes burn so bad. And I found out that not everyone is affected by this, which is so unfair but yeah this thing is a lifesaver it's from amazon for about like 20 bucks so i'll make sure that it's linked down below for you guys also don't talk about the way that i was cutting my tomatoes i was also kind of half watching football this day it's giving kendall jenner cutting a cucumber vibe so please do not judge me too hard in the comments I did learn how to make guac from a recipe on Pinterest, which I can link down below for you guys. But now I kind of just eyeball everything and I'll just add in more avocado, tomato, onion, or lime or cilantro when I remember to have it. As I go, I don't really measure anything out. Once I get my guac perfect just how I like it, I go ahead and put them all into small bowls and my husband packed up some chips for us. Next up is tuna. Again, I don't follow any recipe for it. I just kind of eyeball and taste as I go. I feel like tuna is such an inquired taste, so you kind of have to trust your gut with this one. But I just add Miracle Whip, mustard, and sweet relish to mine. So for the tuna, I wasn't able to separate that into small containers because I ran out of meal prep containers. So I'll just make sure when I go to eat a day of, I weigh it out with my scale, but my goal is to get 20 grams of protein per serving. I do have other snacks that we bought from the store that don't need to be prepped, like fruit cups, yogurt bowls, almonds, cheese, all those type of things. So I didn't share those. So if you guys want to see some more snack ideas that aren't so heavily prepped, I can definitely share next time in another video what snacks that I'm eating that don't require me to prep them. Okay, and we are all done with today's meal prep i feel like this was a really really good one it only took me about four hours to cook all of this we have two options for snacks dinner and lunch hope you guys enjoyed today's video as well and it gave you some meal ideas and some inspiration to meal prep for your week or the next couple days like i mentioned in the beginning meal prepping just helps me out so much saves me so much time and money during the week and it takes out the what am I gonna eat today question that I hate asking myself every single day. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.